Hey guys, Rick Denham here, back again with Holy Moly Outdoors. It is April and we have some showers are happening right now. So it's a great opportunity to take a look at some new tackle for Wicked Lures. Springtime means pre-spawn. And I can tell you what, the last couple days we've had a little bit warmer weather has definitely started to move some fish. Shoot, yesterday we ended up seeing a couple of big girls cruising around on some shallow flats. And I uh, got a couple bites, but nothing was able to stick. So uh, it is time to think bass fishing. And Wicked Lures has come out with a new bass line for 2018. And let me tell you guys, these are going to absolutely be killer. So we are talking about the bass killer lineup here. I have used these before. I got to the awesome opportunity from James to pre-fish these and product test before these came to the market and I caught a couple of my personal best Washington State bass on these so I can tell you firsthand they work phenomenally just as every other wicket does it's a great lure to represent uh, in this case a spinnerbait so in the springtime these fish are moving around up into the flats the shallow areas where they're in proximity to where they're going to be spawning and a spinnerbait type lure is a great way to get after these fish. And what's great about a wicked bass killer is that these are unweighted. So you have the ability to put your weight a few feet above the line and really work these and gives it the most amount of movement, the most of natural look to it. Whereas a normal spinner bait has a whole lot of weight built into the lure itself. So you're having to deal with something that's always gonna be on a sink. Whether you're in a full retrieve and stop it's going to end up going down. The nice thing with the Wicked is it's going to undulate and everything else in the water and not be impended by the weight itself since it's going to be separated by a distance. So what is really cool about these is he has now more than just a couple colors. There are eight colors to be precise and these colors are going to cover all of your different situations and water type conditions you may experience because let's face it the spring is unpredictable I mean it's pouring outside right now I wish I could be out there fishing but it's not going to be worth my time so we have conditions where we're going to get muddy water we're going to have conditions where you know, you're targeting small mouth that are coming up and you want something different color wise maybe you know you have a specific favorite color well let me tell you James designed some stuff here that's going to cover all the bases. So let's go through a little bit of the colors and show you guys what he has to offer. The first would definitely be my favorite. Uh, I have a local lake that is a little bit tea stain color and this one is the black and chartreuse bass killer. And I have caught more fish on this one than any of my others I've tried and I just have so much confidence in throwing this thing. Through the pre-spawn, even post-spawn, fish were smashing this. So really excited to see this one out in the colors available. This is the black and chartreuse. The next one is the black root beer, which is a really great color blade to give something with a little bit different flash, whether it's a little more subtle, or in some cases it, it works better in a darker stained water. So your chartreuse and your black there, blade colors, give you a range option to cover different types of water, different species, whether it's smallmouth or largemouth here in Washington, these are gonna work really well. Those black custom wicked skirts have flash in them too. So you're, you're giving yourself a lot of opportunity to really represent something that these fish are gonna go after. Then next we go into the glow line. So this is a uh, green glow, just like you have in the um, coho killer size skirt. But we're looking at the bass killer line version, which is just going to be a glow chartreuse blade. Works great in a lot of different colors. Low light, this will stand out, um, but really works well in so many different applications there. Then how about a glow with a white blade? Uh, again, this gives a different color contrast and you know what I've always found is I let the fish tell me what they want um, and I start usually with that black chartreuse but if my water conditions change I might go with a glow and white early morning just to see if I can get some reaction out of fish or chases or follows and then you start looking at 
with, the, with after the white, you have a glow green with a blue blade. Works well in a clear color situation. That blue absolutely puts off a ton of flash and really is great there. Next, we move to the white squid skirts. And the white starts off with a green. A absolute money combination for contrast, for water condition. This is a great all around color. Then we have a white and white, which I really like as well. Gives off something different, and these fish will really hone into where that is. Then you have white with lime. Again, a really neat color combination because it is definitely different from the chartreuse. That lime is going to give off a little bit different flash, and those fish are really going to key in. And, and you know, again, let the fish tell you. But that's the eight colors that the new Wicked Bass Killer lineup comes with. And I'm so excited to be able to share these with you guys. They are on the Wicked Lures website. I will have everything linked below in the description and show you guys kind of what it is. But what's neat too with these packages. You have a full instruction here on the back on exactly how to rig these for best use. You know, he's got a sliding weight setup or a, a bass casting sinker with a three way swivel. Really a great way to showcase how to use these. So let's actually pull one of these out of the package to show you guys what it looks like. These are tied on 30 pound test with super quality components. You have laser sharp eagle claw hooks which are going to be great for this and uh, let's show you guys something that I don't normally throw let's go the chartreuse in white this might be something that I throw my next trip the chartreuse in white is going to end up pulling out a package and I'll show you what you get with it So again, you have all the instructions on the back on how to rig this. But what you get is a really quality lure already pre-done up to catch you some really nice bass. And it's perfect. I'm looking at this already. James has a great probably two and a half to three feet of leader already all set up for you all you have to do is either tie on a bass casting sinker to the end of this with a three-way swivel so you have ability for the line twist you can use a uh, inline trolling sinker like you would like a float sinker I don't know if I have one in front of me um, Another one that I like to run are the Dave's Tangle Free Weights. They have a built-in swivel on the top of the weight. So I will tie a snap swivel here. I will put the Dave's Tangle Free here. And then I will tie on the other line for my main line. And it works. But again, everything is shown on the back of the Wicked Package. But you have an absolute bass killer that is going to whack some fish. So, hope you guys enjoy seeing one of this new product from Wicked Lures. I'm going to get some on the water footage for you and uh, showcase really how awesome these things are. So, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks again for watching today. And uh, we'll have everything below for you if you want to go check these out. This is the bass killer lineup from Wicked Lures, and they are ready for this spring. Take care, guys. Thanks so much. It's Rick Dan with Holy Moly Outdoors. Tight lines and fish on!